Off in the distance, a really pretty start to the morning. It starts to get a little bit heated in the afternoon, not just with the shower and thunderstorm development, but the temperatures will be in the upper 80s, low 90s. That's the only silver lining when the uh, thunderstorms do bubble up. They take those temperatures down temporarily. But the showers that we're seeing developing right now have been mainly along that Mississippi and Alabama border. We're going to see a little bit more of an uptick later this afternoon, too, with those showers and possibly thunder showers. But right now, our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar, this three minute advantage showing a few showers right now. Northern Blunt County portions just around Talladega County too. some sprinkles at 74 degrees in Birmingham. The humidity level is what is preventing our temperatures from getting any cooler. We just did have a couple of mornings where we saw some areas in the upper 60s pretty uniform. 71 degrees right now in Coleman, 75 in Tuscaloosa. So let's talk tropical weather. The area of low pressure that we have right now on the map, it is right now in the Gulf of Mexico, technically, we're seeing these tropical rain bands drawing moisture from the Caribbean Sea and dumping these water loaded thunderstorms around the Keys, Southern Florida, Lake Okeechobee, Fort Myers, Sarasota. This is moving into Tampa, Florida. Now, even though the actual center of the storm is not expected to directly go over areas of Tampa, Florida, okay, the cone is only representative of the eye wall, okay? I, I really need everybody to understand that. The cone is only representative of the eye wall. When the eye wall of a previous storm was over Louisiana, we were dealing with torrential rainfall, so two states away. And so likely West Central Florida is still going to get lots of impact. So if you have any plans, to go to Florida in the next week, you got to check with your air carrier. This last animation here, as it hits the coast, potentially the Florida coastline could be, though, the Alabama coastline. That is late Monday night. That's just the eye wall. The rain's going to start Monday afternoon. Today will be spotty showers, heating of the day, bubbling up, everything coming up from the south, though, and likely developing along that 5920 corridor and moving northward. Then we start to see the rain from Fred. That's three o'clock in the afternoon. Heavy rainfall from Atlanta, spiraling winds as well. There may even be a couple of brief uh, tornadoes, a couple of brief spin ups. That's 10 p.m. on Monday. It's still the bulk of the rain in Alabama and the rain bands are still drawing moisture up from the south. And so we do see the bulk of this rain mainly along the Gulf Coast, Alligator Point, Destin, and then into East Alabama, as well as into portions of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Atlanta through Tuesday. And so Tuesday, East Alabama, there will be some potential flood impacts, maybe even wind too. The roads may be dangerous, but it starts Monday afternoon with that rain. Time right now is 619.